Knowledge Hub for Organic Agriculture in Eastern Africa, Rwanda. The Knowledge Center for Organic Agriculture, KCOA, is part of the initiative by the German Ministry of Economic Cooperation and Development through its executing agency GIZ to support a network of regional knowledge hubs for organic farming in Africa. BioVision Africa Trust is the lead coordinating agency of the project in Eastern Africa with a co-hosting arrangement of participatory land use management, Pelham, Uganda. Rwanda Organic Agriculture Movement, RUAM, is the country implementing partner of the project in Rwanda. The idea of forming PGS Group come from members of RUAM who informed us about the opportunities. Yeah. The overall objective of the KCOA project in Africa is to introduce Knowledge Hub successfully as an innovative strategy for promoting organic agriculture with actors in the regions of East, West, North and Southern Africa. For Eastern Africa, the overall goal of the project is to ensure that ecological organic agriculture is integrated into agricultural systems of the countries in Eastern Africa. The project came as a solution of the challenges in the organic sector in Rwanda, availability of knowledge in organic sector, dissemination of organic knowledge to many users and networking of organic agricultural value chain. Roam collaborates with different stakeholders of organic agriculture to ensure quality and safe food production and organic market promotion in Rwanda through establishment of demonstration sites, multipliers training, participatory guarantee systems known as PGS groups establishment and knowledge products collection. Humura Agroecological Center, Pride Farms, and Center for Agroecological Practices for Conservation and Nature, CAPSIN, are being associated partners and source of organic agriculture knowledge dissemination through their creation of PGS groups and demo plots with the aim of attaining improved livelihoods and sustainable food system in Rwanda. In the Northern Province, the Center for Agroecological Practices for Conservation and Nature met with farmers to introduce them about participatory guarantee system groups to ensure organic product quality on the domestic market. The PGS are locally focused quality assurance systems which certify producers based on active participation of stakeholders and are built on foundation of trust social networks, and knowledge exchange. The purpose is to produce nutritious and safe food for the consumers at country level and in the regional level. Uh, looking at the, the structure organization of PGS, uh, normally farmers would have uh, uh, gardens or farms in the same area in order to, uh, to monitor uh, those gardens. Because every farmer in the PGS has to monitor his neighbor and that will make easy the monitoring and the uh, uh, follow-up. In demo plots development established by Humura Agroecological Center in Eastern Province, youth and people living around the center receive various trainings on knowledge practices including vermicomposting technology, to teach them how to make the biofertilizers from green manure plants, to showcase the business opportunities, market strategy, in organic agriculture, where Humura Center delivers baskets of organic vegetables in Kigali once a week. One of the things we did is to train youth and people around the farm in general how to make organic fertilizer, the easy way to get compost from animal manures mixed with the natural herbs available around them. Everything we do during the practices, either compost or bio 
pesticides. We keep the records on a small billboard in our library for archive and for people who may visit us from outside and want to learn about our practices so can get the information easily. When it comes to transition from conventional agriculture to organic agriculture, Roam provides required skills, technical support, as well as guidance in the implementation of activities related in the KCOA project as associate partners, 127 multipliers, among them seven master trainers, and 120 multipliers, among them 58 men, 62 women have been trained. This is to say, as youth, I will voice out and sensitize many, hence being many farmers practicing organic farming. Nowadays, everybody wants organic products. Through the trainings, I really learned a lot uh, where we have been like introduced on conserving the soil uh, and protecting our life through our nutrition uh, by reducing and avoiding the use of chemical pesticides and fertilizers. I'm so glad that I attended the trainings because uh, I wish and I'm committed to, 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 to train other 50 farmers as minima and, to, and I wish to disseminate the good news and the knowledge that I gained from the trainings to my fellow youth. Access to markets, well-being, and the developments of associate partners are the key benefits of the KCOA projects. The benefits I will get as a worker of Humura Agroecological Center, I get required knowledge about organic good practices, how to make organic fertilizer and pesticides, so I can produce healthier food for my family and protect us against chemical input effects. Except the implementation of our goals, the KCOA project will help us to synchronize our farm. For example, we combine theories and practices, and what the learner produce stay here in the farm. Compost is always needed in the farm. If we are teaching them matching techniques, the covers stay in our farm and everything contributed to the farm development. With KCOA project implemented by Rowam in Rwanda, as the country implementing partner, women and youth are empowered in the training of multipliers and youth are being more attracted by organic agriculture as a potential business opportunity.